Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I will explain how to import a JSON file into Excel and convert nested data like address, phone into a flat usable table using Power Query. The JSON file contains the employee records with fields like name, is married, age and nested data like address, phone and car. As you can see, some fields are nested, so we will flatten them step by step using Power Query. To load JSON file into Excel, go to the Data tab and in Get and Transform Data group, click on Get Data option. Go to From File and select From JSON option. Now select the JSON file and click Import button. It will load the file into Power Query Editor as a list. Now in Transform Menu option, click on Two Table option. In the Two Table pop-up, keep both the options as is and click OK. Now we will expand the records to see individual employee data. Click on Double Arrow button next to the new column. Now ensure all the required fields are selected and uncheck the option use original column name as prefix. Click OK. Now you will see basic fields like name, is married, age and bank directly, address as a record, phone and car as a list. Now to flatten the address field, Click on double arrow button, ensure all fields are selected. Uncheck the option use original column name as prefix and click OK. Now the values in address like street, city, state and postal code will be added as a new column. The next field is phone which is listed as a list and if we want each phone number in a separate row click on double arrow button. Now select expand to new rows option. Now phone fields has multiple values. It is now showing as a record. So click on double arrow button again and ensure both the fields are selected and use original column name as prefix option is unchecked. Click OK. Now each phone number like home, office, mobile is now in its own row. Similarly for car, click on double arrow button and select extract values. All the car values are separated by comma in the JSON file. So in the pop-up, select comma as delimiter and click OK. So all cars are listed by comma for each employee. Now we have two rows where except phone, all other values are same. So to create a single row, select type column, go to transform tab and under any column group, click on pivot column option. Now the values column is number. So select number field, expand the advanced options and in aggregate value functions drop down, select don't aggregate. Click OK. Now all phone numbers is now added into different columns at the end of the table. You now have a clean flat table with all employee data including the nested details. To load this data into Excel, go to the Home tab, click Close and Load option and select Close and Load to. In Import Data dialog box, Select the existing worksheet and click OK. The data will be imported into Excel. If you like the content, press thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of new videos. Thanks for watching.